Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about the ability to synchronize SharePoint tasks into Outlook. And as you'll notice, you have this Connect to Outlook button right there, if you're in a task list. And when SharePoint 2013 came out, and if you have an on-premise version of SharePoint, you probably won't see this button, you will see another button there instead. That was a big feature that was supposed to synchronize all of your tasks into your Outlook tasks list. This is not what I'm talking about here. This is simply the ability to edit task list in SharePoint. It doesn't synchronize with your personal task list. It adds another task list. So if you have multiple task lists in SharePoint, then you need to synchronize each and every one of them to be able to work with them in Outlook. So that's an important distinction. To do that, you simply click on this connect button, accept the warnings, both in the browser and in Outlook. And once you do, you have your task list there. You can, of course, easily create a new task list. Assign that to Anna, for example. The address book, there's Anna. And uh, IT task 5, I think we're at here. And you can get the reminders, you can get the start date and due date and all those things. So once I save and close that, I'll go back into SharePoint, refresh the page, and you'll notice that the new task 5 assigned to Anna is already there. So it's really, really quick. The background synchronization, you're not doing any double storage, really. The double storage is done, and the benefit of that is that you can work with this data offline also. That's very important. But when you're online, like I am now, the information is stored directly straight into SharePoint, so synchronized automatically right away. So I think that makes it rather clear how to work with SharePoint tasks in Microsoft Outlook. Thank you for watching this demonstration.